In Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, we read, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. On this Easter Sunday, we want to highlight someone who relates well to that scripture. Former Salt Lake City school teacher Stacy Best taught homeless children for 11 years. The lessons learned helped so many lives, and it still lives on today. I'm a real believer that if the Savior came tomorrow, one of his very first places he would visit would be that school. Stacy Best believes the Savior would have visited her school, the school with no name, a school that started under a freeway viaduct in Salt Lake City in 1984, a school for the homeless. There's a unique uh, spirit in that room. Um, when people would come in and out of the room, they would say to me, do you feel something unique here? And I would always smile because I was so glad somebody else could feel it. It took a while for Bess to feel it. She said she'd never been around such poverty. She began teaching at the school at age 23, fresh out of college and married with two children. My first impression was cry every day after, after work. Um, cried all the way home, said, oh, I can't take this. It's uh, tragic, it's sad, it's dirty. The children, grades kindergarten through sixth grade, came with no backpacks, no supplies, and little hope. Stacy went with little experience, but most importantly, she went in with a heart full of love. They came in with very little self-worth, but mostly they came in um, very untrusting. They had been hurt a lot. They didn't want anything to do with anybody who would leave them. They experienced loss immensely. And so as they, as they approached me, I, was, I started out to be the enemy, and then slowly they would allow me to enter their circle. A circle built by not only teaching the ABCs, but giving plenty of TLC. Despite a high turnover of children throughout the years, Bess fell in love with her students. The number one gift I gave to them was patience and love, and they ate it up. I totally believe that this was designed for me. Um, it was too easy, and my relationship uh, with them and my love of them is too connected for it to have been an accident. Bess taught the homeless for 11 years before retiring to have more children. She's won numerous awards for outstanding service, and today she's a popular speaker, sharing lessons she learned by teaching the children she learned to love. I think the number one thing I took away when I left was we really can make a difference that one person really can make a difference. Stacy Best certainly made a difference, and she still believes the Savior would have loved to have visited the children at the school with no name. He loves those kids. He loves the parents. And I, I know that he knows how much they have suffered, so he would come to be with them. One person really can make a difference. Stacy has written a book about her experience and hopes her story will motivate others to help children in need. Thanks so much for spending part of your Easter Sunday with us and enjoy the rest of your day.